Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to wire up and do a review on this GE 15 amp electrical outlet. So the reason I like this outlet is it's not tamper proof receptacles. Things plug right into it. We've got our ground wire. These white screws, this is the neutral side. And these gold screws, that's the hot side. So here I've got two different sizes of wiring. I've got the 12 gauge wiring and the 14 gauge wiring. So there's two ways you can install the wires. You can wrap them around the screws and then tighten the screw. But if you've got 14 gauge wire, you can insert them in this little hole right here and friction fit will stay in there. But if you want to take it out, you can put a little screwdriver in here and you can pull the wire out. So I'm going to show you the 14 gauge first. So the receptacle has a strip gauge on it right there. So you're going to get your wire strippers, make sure you're on the 14 gauge, strip some back, and you're going to verify that it's the right length first. So there, that's the right length. Now I've got the hot wire. So now I go to the gold side and I can poke it in either this one or this one. And again, once you poke it in, it's going to be hard to come out. So push it in till it stops. There should be very little insulation showing and you can tell that's a nice good friction fit. I don't have to screw the screws down. Now, if you ever need to remove it, it takes a really small straight slot. You're gonna push it in and that's gonna push that tab away. So again, it's a little tricky to show, but once you push this tab in with a screwdriver, then I can pull the wire straight out. And you're gonna do the same for the white wire. The white wire can go in either one of these on the white side. Now let's do the ground wire. Very easy to, a lot of your wire strippers, they've got a, you can put a loop in it. So just put a loop in your wire, stick it around that. And then I like to kind of pinch it close. And then you're gonna tighten it down. You can use a number one square. I think a number one square bit works better, but you can also use a number two Phillips. You're just gonna tighten that down. Okay, so let's again, there's my, let's do the black one. Push it in till it stops and it's snug. And then you're gonna push the white one in. Push it in. Now it's nice and snug and your receptacle is hooked up, ready to go. Now, if I wanna power this receptacle from a different power source than this one, I can break this little tab, but you're gonna leave that tab installed if you want the power to be for both receptacles. But if I wanted to, I'd have to break that tab off and that tab off. That separates these receptacles in half. I like that the screws have these little retainers on them because it comes with the screws installed. Some receptacle boxes you do have to kind of, they've got little lines here. You can break these ears off and you can break the ear off right there also. But let's go ahead and remove the 14 gauge. Again, it's a little tricky. Get the right size screwdriver in there. You feel you're gonna be pulling it, pushing a tab back. Again, just a little tricky and then it should come right out. Now, if you feel more confident and you want a, a, like a better secure connection, you can wrap the wire around the screw and then screw in the screw. That's what you got to do if you're going to put a 12 gauge onto it. And you will have to strip back a little bit more wire. So get your strippers, strip back a pretty good amount. Again, put a loop in it to begin with. It's not a real tight loop, just a loop. Again, the hot side, put it on the gold side, kind of put the wire there, get your pinchers, bring it around. Now the, the key important part here is to make sure, make sure that none of that insulation is underneath the screw so that when we tighten this down, it's got a nice good friction fit. And again, I like to use the number one square. I can just get that really nice and tight. Now, if you go too far, it will strip it out. And I do like to turn in these. It just kind of makes the receptacle nice and clean when you're putting it in and out of the box. All right, let's do the white one again. Get 12 gauge. Again, you're gonna be stripping back more than you really think you need, but you do need that much. Put a little loop in it. Come over here, put it on there and then just finish the loop. I like to give it, that's like a really nice secure connection. And again, you can use straight slot or Phillips, but this one you can really get it nice and tight. Again, put your loop in. Hook your ground wire up. Again, 
pull it around. Just makes for a really nice solid connection. There you go. And I'll run that screw down, but I could carry the power. So if power was coming in and I want to take it somewhere else, I could have power come out on these two and then it would power up like another receptacle somewhere else. Overall, you're looking at four and a quarter. From screw hole to screw hole is three and a quarter. Left to right, you're looking at about inch and a quarter. Depth wise, right at about an inch. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.